All right, so today we're going to be doing the Agile No Rub Mini Fenders in preparation for our new tires and wheels that we ordered. And we went with the Black Rhino wheels, the Warlords, and the BF Goodrich KO2s, and they're 275, 70, 17 for the tire size. It's the largest size tire that Agile recommends for this without any sort of modification to suspension. Uh, we don't intend on lifting the vehicle, we're gonna leave it as is. And so the Mini Fenders will suit us just fine. So here we go. So the first step is going to be you have to take off the mud flap and the inner fender liner and for that you're going to need a 10 mil socket and a T25 Torx or star bit to get off the two mud flap screws and then everything else is plastic uh, nuts but they are 10 mil to get them off and for that there are two for your mud flap one here one here and the last part of the mud flap is a plastic nut back in here and that is one of the four uh, inner fender well bolts you have to take off with the nuts. There's one here, there's one back here, one here, and then one up top. And so I chose not to lift the van, take the wheel off. Um, just kind of lazy, it's cold out, didn't want to get my jack out. So here we go. The next thing you want to remove is this plastic trim piece right here and there are four plastic clips on the inside and so to prevent breaking them if you take just a pair of pliers you can reach in here you see them you can push the detents on the plastic clips and then pull them out without damaging the clips themselves and if you start with the back one first and then just kind of wiggle your fingers in there it'll pop out and the same thing for the two top ones work them loose and then they'll come off and they look just like that so while I have this off I'm actually just going to trim them right now because the new mini fender that goes on is fiberglass and it's a little bit thicker than the metal so the clips aren't going to want to engage and so if you look at the plastic piece the way it goes on the two top ones are going to go back into the factory two metal holes here. So the bottom two, you're going to want to trim the inside plastic pieces so that they will have enough clearance to get through the fiberglass. And all you are is just trimming just a hair off the bottom. like that so you can see the difference between that one and the factory one it's just giving you a little bit more clearance for it to bite into babe hold on a second so i can get like there we go to get the factory fender off for the replacement right here there is a stud that's actually part of the metal fender itself, but as you can see, there is a uh, factory undercoating all over it. So if you just get a pair of pliers, you can start to scrape some of that undercoating off.
one bolt off, you're gonna remove three of the factory bolts here. There's one here, one here, and then one in here. And these are also 10 millimeter. Down in here is the last thing you have to deal with to get this off is the factory undercoating is holding this on now. Everything is unbolted and free. So take a razor knife and start to score along the edge of the inner pinch weld and the factory fender. And then get a putty knife and start working your way in there to get it free. On the new mini fender from Agile, there are two little indents here and here, and those are for your factory mud flaps to uh, bolt back into. So if you intend on using your new mud floor, your factory mud flaps, you're gonna wanna drill those out, and the drill bit size for that is 5 16 And on your factory fender that came off, you're gonna to wanna to retain these two brackets here. That's what your trim screws go through. So just take a flathead screwdriver, you can pop them loose. Slide them off. And they slide over your new mini fender from Agile. Now we can start to mount the new mini fender and start with the top two. So they're gonna go in behind like that there. You're gonna use your factory bolts to go through. And then you're going to use the new supplied lock washer or lock nut to go on the back side with a fender washer behind it. You just hand tight at this point. Factory. Can I see, show us the... center one here, you're going to want to kind of mock everything up to where it's going to bolt in and then check your body lines for the gap here on either side because you may need to add a washer behind this center bolt here to push it out a little bit so that everything is lined up even. And so if I'm looking at it here, about there, 
is even with the body line. So I'm gonna add a couple washers behind that. So to get the body lines even the way that they were, I'm just gonna take a couple washers behind before I bolt it in to the factory location here. fit and that looks pretty dang good so I'm pretty happy with that right there so I'm gonna leave that the way that is for right now and get the bottom bolt in so for the bottom they give you a new one from agile fender washer and lock washer so the bolt is gonna go through the bottom of the new mini fender into the factory hole and fender washer and lock washer on the back side of it. So now you can start kind of tightening stuff up, uh, work from the top down. So if you look here, there is factory paint marks. So to try to get everything back in alignment the way it came from the factory, you're gonna wanna make sure that those washers line up with your factory paint marks. Now you can put your uh, factory trim piece back in. And it just comes back in. Now we're gonna reinstall the inner fender liner. Uh, the bottom mounting bracket for the inner fender liner uh, drops down, it's an L shape, you can't miss it. What you want to do is once you get your fender liner in and everything is lined up the way you want it lined up, um, you're going to want to pull back on that bracket, you've got an extra half inch of clearance back there and the fender liner has enough play in it to pull over there. That's just going to give you a little bit more clearance on the, when it, the wheels at full lock on the inside. factory nut on the inside that actually is one that actually holds your 
part of your mud flap on as well. So you're gonna to wanna to get the mud flap at least hung into place first. And then this bottom here on the bottom mud flap goes through that same L bracket I was talking about from the factory fender liner. So this hole and your fender liner have to go through that bracket on the bottom, so, but you can get it hung in place, at least initially with the, the top hole here. So the easiest way to do the bottom stud down here is to get your inner fender liner in place, mud flap in place, and then bend the bracket back versus trying to fight the inner fender well and the mud flap or this, the new stud that's now back a half inch further. So I'm just gonna pop that up and over. Steady pressure, pull it back. There. you gotta do is put your two mud flat bolts or screws back into place. Those are gonna be T25. And you'll see right now the fender liner in this mud flap is a little, there's a gap in there and it's because the fender now is shorter, but everything will be pulled back into place where it needs to be. Remember, you are working with fiberglass instead of steel, so you don't need to go all Hercules on them. 